you had it to do all over again, what would you change? Uh, th those terrible things that happened would have never happened. That was just a, a, a break from reality and thought I was doing something to uh, appease the devil. I'm, I'm sorry for it, but I, I really don't want to talk about it Appease the devil? No, I was, uh, at this time, I ended up uh, serving him. I feel that he had taken over my mind and body, and I, I just surrendered to those very dark forces. I regret that with all my heart, but, you know, that was like 40 years ago. Most of the victims have been young women with shoulder-length dark brown hair who were gunned down as they sat in parked cars or walked the sidewalks of the Bronx and Queens. I'm leaving my house, and I'm walking down steps. And my mom turns to me and she says, Robert, be careful. And the next thing I said was, I'll never forget this. Ma, don't worry, I'm going out with a blonde tonight. She was just a very bubbly, alive, full of life young lady. Good evening. In New York early this morning, the 44 caliber killer tried to kill again. Robert Violante, 20 years old, Stacy Moskowitz, also age 20, blonde. Both shot twice in the head as they sat in their car near the ocean in the Brooklyn section of New York. It was their first date. What do you remember from the shooting itself? The bullet totally destroyed the left eye and most of my right eye. And, uh, you know, full of blood, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see Stacy sitting right next to me. I heard some moaning coming from Stacy. At 5.22 p.m. Monday, Stacy Moskowitz stopped living. My daughter is dead, but I would die right here and now to see this man punished. To do this to a young girl, he can't be normal. He's not normal. I felt that there were demons with me. But you're the sole person who pulled the trigger, correct? Uh, well... A lot of things wouldn't happen in that, in that case, but I take responsibility, you know, and, and that's it, yeah. You take responsibility for all the yeah, son of right, murders? Right, yeah. There was nobody else involved? Uh, let's put it this way, they were demons, and that was it. You leave the door open, or is it? Well, one day maybe I have a chance to share more, but that's, that's, we'll leave that at that. Now, after his imprisonment, Berkowitz, as you saw there, claimed others were involved, and there was a conspiracy involving satanic cultists. We addressed that with him and the detectives from the case. You want to hear what they have to say. And you can watch Son of Sam, the killer speaks tomorrow night at 10 p.m. right here on CBS2 before the news at 11 o'clock.